backyard builder here. We're just uh, fixing up some bench tops. We uh, had a couple that uh, didn't come out of the mold quite the way we want them to. A little spalling on the top, a couple of uh, broken edges. So we're just going to take a few minutes here and fix them up here before we stain them. Uh, I'm using a uh, product called uh, uh, Planetop XS. It's a Mappy product. And this stuff is like super concrete. It's a GFRC mix. It's uh, it's a polymer modified. And the nice thing about it is you can fix anything uh, from, from from four inches uh, from a four inch gouge uh, right to, to feathered out to to, to to nothing. So that, that's a really neat little product. It's uh, it's actually a surface repair grout. Uh, intended for, for uh, fixing uh, exactly what we're doing, spalled and broken concrete. Now with this stuff you uh, want to mix it up real, uh, in very small quantities. It uh, sets up really quick. I've got uh, some here that I used uh, probably not more than 10 minutes ago and it's already set up nice and solid. Um, but. Uh, when, when you mix it up, just uh, use a disposable container because you're probably not going to be able to reuse the container you're using. And just mix very, very small quantities. I uh, do my measurements uh, in tablespoons. Uh, and uh, basically, you just take the powder, uh, put it in a cup, put a little bit of water, and you mix it up to about a thick toothpaste consistency. And that's how you want to be working with it. Now, um, we're, we're going to be uh, doing a little bit of modeling here as well because we want to, uh, to get uh, our, our fake uh, 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 lines in the wood here. Um, so, so we're going to be putting, it, putting the, uh, the grout down uh, real quick and then, then we'll be uh, taking out the modeling tools and uh, basically j just mucking up the surface. We're not going for a smooth surface. We want it to blend in and look like wood grain. So we're going to kind of do a wood grainy type thing here to, uh, to make it sort of match what we've got going here with the, uh, the pattern that's already in, uh, came out of the mold. Okay, I'll just uh, zoom in a little closer so you can watch the work. Okay, we've got our, uh, our uh, mix uh, like almost like a, a thick toothpaste consistency. We're just going to spread it on the spalled area. And I've got a set of modeling tools here. I picked these up real cheap at uh, Princess Auto. That's uh, a, uh, a uh, what do they call them? Not bulk, but uh, discount. Uh, uh, and uh, excess stock dealer in what in Canada and basically what we want to do here we just want to follow through here and make lines that so that this stuff kind of looks like uh, wood and so it kind of blends into the rest of the uh, the model here. Um, a paintbrush is handy for stuff like this. You can, besides brushing off the excess, uh, all the loose stuff, and see what you're doing. Uh, a whisk broom, handy for putting in some bigger, uh, bigger lines. Uh, basically, we we want this stuff to hide. Uh, we're just fixing up a little bit of an area. We don't want anything to be too prominent. So we want this to pretend like it's it's part of the furniture. Let's put on a little more here. And this stuff sticks sticks worse than super glue, so. Go 
level with the green. Put a few odd cuts in. And just brush it off. And when that dries, you won't be able to tell so much difference. Just take a finer tool and do a little bit finer lines. I've got kind of a, a wide V cut there. Now you have to work fairly quickly with this stuff. You've only got a pot life of about 15 minutes. So once this stuff starts to set up, you're pretty much done for. You're, you're, you're making another batch. So. Just, we're just about out of our pot life on, on, on this batch already and it's kind of a warm evening so I'm not really too surprised. Like I said, it sets up incredibly quickly. Let's go across the green in a couple of spots, take some pieces out just kind of want to blend into what's already there. You don't want to be too much higher than anything else. Just take off any excess. Obviously, you know, a patch will show if you, if and be quite prominent if you're above everything else. So you just want to put enough detail in so it kind of hides the fact that it's a patch. Just different things you can do to texture your patch. I'm just using a dental tool right now. But the main thing is just going into the direction of the green and just kind of going with what's already there. There's no hard and fast rules on this. You just do what works. <laughs> that's, that's about all there is to it. But we had uh, quite the uh, spalling take place around our uh, around our opening here for some reason. Uh, the whisk broom actually making some nice nice lines there and it's tough enough it can take some high spots off as well. Let's take some really high stuff off there, blend that in. Do some gouging. Make sure the edge of that little pocket is clear. So that's where the person can put a plaque in there if they want to dedicate the bench. Kind of a, a specialty option. I, I added to a mold that I already had. I've had this bench seat for a few years now, and uh, it was requested by a customer. They wanted to put uh, a plaque on. So I figured, well, let's see if we can find a. Uh, way to do that for them. I, I, I eventually had success here. Took a couple of tries, but one of the problems I had in my earlier tests, and this is one of them, is that uh, concrete around my uh, my insert kept on spalling on me. So, 
But that's that's tall and short of how it's done. Like I say, there's no hard and fast rules, just whatever works. We're trying to imitate wood and wood doesn't really outside of its green it doesn't really follow much of a regular pattern so and a lot of the patterns dependent on how the wood is actually cut so basically you just want to blend into what's already there and I'm just very thin skin coat here I'm just trying to cover up rocks that uh, that were, were showing themselves. See this is already starting to harden up over here. Stuff sets very very quickly. It's, now it's hot, a little harder you can scratch a little more detail into it. Get in there with a finer tool. This is a, a chance to be an artiste. <laughs> so anyways, that's about all there is to it. Just take the high spots off so that it does not obvious that it's a uh, a patch. Let that dry and you're ready for staining. Now, one thing about staining this stuff is the uh, the patching material is a lot denser than the regular concrete, so you will actually find that your your stain takes uh, a little different. It uh, it absorbs faster into the softer concrete than into the hard patch. So uh, staining might be a bit uneven in this area. You might have to treat it a couple of times or you can even just paint it instead. Uh, painting is probably easier. Um, but, that, but if you're planning on, on uh, acid staining or something, that is something to keep in mind is that, that the, uh, the patching material is a, is a lot harder than uh, than the rest of the concrete and it will take the stain uneven and just having a quick look around I think that's it for this bench have a good day mm -hmm.